All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praise is honor and glory. It's due unto you, Yahweh by Shem and Shai by Shem and That's all praises to the world, because God is true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. By Shem being in the name, Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say the honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the whole like preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabah in the great millstone, in Arizona camp. Lord, will with another video to edify. And, um,. Yo, know, this dude <laughs> is fully ready to do whatever he wants to do to be able to stay eating, right? He's sitting there justifying vulnerability in a time where this devil's going to push out the mark of the beast, which is the RFID, NFC, implantable microchipping technology that they're going to tie in with their banking system. They're going to tie in with your social credit scores to give you an opportunity to be part of his system. To eat and, and eat by and sell. All right, he he he's a he ain't even in the right mindset. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna speed it up. Actually, I'm gonna play this. Get some precepts. Lord, will be at the fire. As I was saying, I was saying like, what if the what if the mandate? What if what if the Antichrist uh, mark of the beast is a mandate? Where they say such things such as you can't work, um, you can't work if, if you don't have a chip. What if they say stuff like you can't go shopping for food if you don't have the chip? See, well, that's that's something you got to be prepared for. This is why the Lord, when he was on the scene, what did he say? He said, uh. Matthew 4 and 4, it says, Moreover, he, he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. So in the times where food is scarce, where they're not letting you buy and sell, your mindset isn't, well, Esau got all the food. Your mindset is, what does the word say? Well, the scriptures tell you. In Isaiah, what is it, 65? And Isaiah 65 and this right here, Isaiah 65 and 13, it says, therefore, thus say Yahweh power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, right? Esau might tell you he got the food and you can get some if you take this MOTB, but the Lord said what? The Lord said what? He, he's the one that feeds everybody. The Lord gets to determine that. So <laughs> the question he's asking with no follow up. Well, well what are we going to do? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to trust in the Lord. We're going to trust that he said he was going to feed us. It says, behold, it says, therefore, thus say you have power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My ser behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice and be be. My children shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right? So in the midst of all that, what we're going to be, provision has already been prepared. And provision should not be something to go against the Lord. Yahweh Shai said, said, um, um, let me get this. This is yeah Matthew ten and twenty eight says and fear not them which kill the body which which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell right and this dude don't really know the scriptures because. If you knew the scriptures, and these things are definitely coming, and that chip, which is the mark of the beast, is definitely coming, whether or not you put it in your hand, your forehead, your ass cheek, wherever it go, if you take it, you're going to get messed up. But these scriptures are what's supposed to be in your mind to be able to refuse that. 
When Satan came to Yahweh Shai, and who is the spirit, who is the physical counterpart of Satan in the earth? Just like we're the physical counterpart of, Yah of the Lord in the earth, of Yahweh, right? By Shem Yahweh Shai, we're the physical counter counterpart being his people, the holy seed. But Esau Edom, the so called white man, he is the physical counterpart of Satan in the world today. What? You can't fear them to have power to kill the body. On earth, man, but you got to fear him that has the power to kill both soul and body in hell. That after death, he can give you a punishment and put your ass right back in the earth. This that's what you got to fear. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall to the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. And that's what you got to have the mindset. Right? We're supposed to be of more value than many sparrows. It says uh, they never, they died there. Let me get this. It is Matthew 6 and uh, 25. It says, Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat. Right? That's all he keeps talking about. It's all going back to provision for him. Buying and selling and eating. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat. And the body than raiment. Right? So why is your drawing point food in the time of these things coming? Because you 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 in the flesh. You in the flesh. You, you're deep in the flesh. And you don't have the scriptures to put you in the spirit. It says, Behold the fowls of the air, for ye sow not, neither do ye reap. Neither it says, Behold the fowls of fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? You see? So I have a mindset of, of just worrying about being able to eat. When these devils push this thing, I sort of want to roll my state. I'm going to play some more. Ain't go shopping for food if you don't have the chip. See, this is going to push people into getting it because they're not going to have no other way to provide for their needs. And it's going to push you into getting it because you're not even setting your mind up and speaking words that show that you're not, that you have a mindset of not to get it. Right? The elector is going to be all right. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't going to have no other way to provide for their needs. And it only is going to cause people to become vulnerable in getting it. Well, that's the scriptures. That's the scriptures. Um, that's the scriptures. And these things must come to pass. Why, why are you trying to fight against it? Why are you worried about everybody else? Worry about your damn self. Revelation thir uh, 3 and 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right? When they push that thing, you ain't able to buy and sell like you want to move around easy. That's going to be a, a time of temptation. Right. We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see, this is a trial to come upon all the earth. Behold, I come quickly. That. Uh, hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown and that should be the, the, the top of the discussion what manner of conversation ought you to have it's not supposed to be the conversation like this man because what what uh mindset are you building up with a conversation like this it ain't resisting this devil and what he has planned people won't be able to shop they won't be able to sell they won't be able to go to the grocery store and get food without having this mark. And what if it's like COVID, where they mandated it? Like, you have to get it or else, well, it's, it's going to be mandated. Just like COVID. Hey, so, it, it, hey, if it's mandated just like COVID, that's fine. That's fine. There were plenty of brothers, myself included, right, that didn't even go with, go on with that shit. And look at us. We're, we're, we're far better off than the, than the people that did go along with that shit. Like, there is no way out of this. There's no way out of this, Mark. 
And there definitely is a way out. The way out is your how about you now shy. That's the way out. You got to have a mindset to walk out on that limb. You're going to have to step out on faith. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego going to their, their, their account. There was no way to get on out of uh, bound down to that statue, but look at what they did. They resisted, and the Lord was with them. There's a 100% a of way to get out of this. It's by trusting and following the Lord in everything that he commanded. It said it right here, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's our way out right there. Follow the Lord wherever he go. What he told us to do in these times, we listen to him. And even in the face of death, right? Um, look, this is uh, Matthew 16 and, and 25. It says, uh, I started 24. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You're going to have to deny yourself in that moment. Right? You might be scared. You might be terrified. But, hey, the scriptures talk about there's going to be martyrs. Right? Scriptures tell you if any man chooses to live godly, he shall make himself a prey. Well, this is part of the battle. For, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Right? And what is your mindset in that day of not taking it? It's because what? The Lord told you you're not supposed to take it. And I don't want to go against the Lord. So what? By you denying this devil and being willing to go under that 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 chopping block under, under the threat of having your head chopped off. Hey, the Lord said you're going to find your life. But those that, that seek to try to keep their life a little longer by taking this devil's stuff, hey, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. I'm going to jump forward in this, man. So I asked Abed 777, I said, what do you think about it? And he quoted some scriptures. He gave me the revelation passage. And I see that the second beast is going to create an image. And through the second beast, he's going to create a mark. Uh, those who, who don't have the mark, those who receive the mark are going to be able to buy, sell, and trade. Those who don't have the mark won't be able to buy, sell, and trade. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's just going to be a vulnerable time for people when this Mark of the Beast comes out. Very vulnerable time. Well, this is the scriptures, man. Right? You go into that word, Mark. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in the, in the right hand or in the forehead. When you go into that scripture... It tells you what the mark is. Right? But you got to understand and you got to be looking into the world to see that, okay, well, what what's what's producing this? Right? That word mark is the word karagma, which he goes in the stamp and imprinted mark. Right? The mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculpture, graven work. Right? And what do they do? They're going to etch in and, and engrave you they're gonna cut in all right cut into you to put that chip now when you go into the root root word it goes into the word crox which goes into the delivery method look at that syringe that they that they put that chip into all right and it goes into what this is it says a pale or stake of palisade so when john the revelator was seeing this stuff this is what he saw he saw that and he used what he knew. He didn't know that uh, they didn't have syringes like that back then. So what he said it was like a palisade or a state. Right? He used the words. Right? And then when you go into the word grapho, now it goes to, it goes into the technology. Grapho, right? Is the the final group root work was uh karagma is a comp basically a compound word. And grapho goes into the technology part where it goes into what? It says to delineate or form letters 
on a on a tablet parchment paper or material to write with reference to the contents of uh, of the writing to express in written characters to commit to writing things not to be forgotten write down or record well that goes into what storing information storing storing data right you're going to get a, a barcode on that chip it's going to have your information on it right and it's going to tell you okay well this is what you got this is what you can spend but this whole system man it's going to be a lot more oppressive you you taking part in it shows you ain't got no no wisdom and you're a fool because you don't understand the scriptures you understand what i'm saying and you know maybe we can basically find a way out of this because it says that the beast is going to slay those who don't receive the mark and worship the graven image that he's going to set up he's going to behead the people which you know, is you're not supposed to fear the sentence of death let me find that This is uh Yeah, here it is, Sirach forty one and thirty one. It says, Fear not the sentence of death. Remember that them that have been before thee and that come after, for this is the sentence of Yahweh over all flesh. Don't fear the sentence of death, man. Because ultimately if you die in the truth, what you're gonna be the first ones resurrected with the Lord. Right? Let me find that, man. This is, uh... Can't remember how it goes. Man, I can't remember how the scripture goes exactly, so I can just grab it. But if you die in the truth, man, you're just going to be the first ones in the resurrection. Right? It's a glory for you to go out like that, man. That's, a, that's an honorable way to go. Right? Now I'm going to play a little bit more because he said something that shows why he should just shut the fuck up. Because, and Jake, don't don't take offense that somebody says that you should shut shut up, man. Like our, our people have a custom of being very blunt. When you go into the scriptures, we were a very direct people. Right? And sometimes men do just need to shut the hell up. Which is crazy. So... I don't know. I gotta do more research on this. You see that? I don't know. I gotta do more research. That that shows you that you need to shut the fuck up. All right? That right there. The fact that you say you gotta do more research on it. Well, we've done the research. We 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 go through all type of information, and we understand this. All right? This is Rock Five and Twelve. It says, "If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not," Lay thy hand upon thy mouth. If you got to do more research on it, and you trying to question men about how things work, maybe it's time to just shut up and listen and try to digest what the men are saying, man. That's the problem with Jake, man. Not everything is a, 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 a time to open your mouth. Sometimes it's, it's better to shut your mouth so you can actually get an opportunity to fully understand, man. But it's my lesson, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm gonna say call law. Yahweh Shimon Shai. Bashima Krokodile Shalom.